Hello friends and let's have a look at the D-Link DIR816 wireless AC750 dual band router. It is an affordable yet powerful wireless networking solution which combines the latest high speed 802.11 AC Wi-Fi specification with dual band technology and fast ethernet ports. So the router comes with 3 years warranty and a 5 dBi long range antenna. On the back side of the box you will find information regarding the ports and detailed description regarding the AC750 dual band technology. So let's open the box and have a look at the contents. Once you open the box you will find the warranty information, the quick installation guide and of course the router. This particular router comes with three antennas. These are the LAN ports over here and this is the WAN port. You'll also find the ethernet cable and the power adapter. So let's start with the physical connections. Let's first take the power cable and insert it into the power port. Here you see the WAN port that's where you insert your service provider cable. So these are the LAN ports and you can enter your ethernet cable in any of these ports. And the other end of your ethernet cable goes into your computer's ethernet port. So once the device is powered on, you'll see all these LEDs being lit. The first LED is the power LED. And since as you know this is a dual band router so you'll see two networks operating simultaneously that's the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network the next led is the internet led which will be lit once your router is connected to the internet so let's just quickly go to our web browser and set up our device to access your router settings you type 192.168.0.1 in your address bar so you'll be prompted with this dialog where you enter your username as admin and password as blank You'll be prompted with the quick setup dialog where you click next. So in this section you have to select the connection type. Uh, there are three connection types namely PPPoE, dynamic IP and static IP. So this information will be provided to you by your internet service provider. So once you're done you can click on next. And this is the section where you have to enter the username and password allotted to you by your internet service provider. If you are not sure about these details, please do get in touch with your service provider. Once you are done, click on next. This is where you can change the name of your 2.4 GHz wireless network and also assign a password by selecting the security type to be WPA2 which is supposed to be the strongest security. Set up a password of your own choice which you will be subsequently using to connect to this network. Once you are done, click next. Now this is a similar setup wizard for the 5 GHz network. You can change the name, change the security type to WPA2 and set the same or a different password for the 5 GHz network. Once you are done click next and you are done with the setup wizard. So you can click finish and you are redirected to the status page. Now you can quickly scroll down to the page and check the details of your connection in the WAN configuration section. If you look closely, your protocol is PPPoE and you are connected to a public IP address, which means you are connected to the internet. But just to be sure, let's open the D-Link website. And yes, we are connected to the internet. So that is how you configure a DIR816 wireless router.